Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Mystery Box Monday. Today, I've got 12 packages to go through. I'll probably not get through all of them, but we're going to get through as many as we can. Hopefully, everyone's having a very pleasant Monday. Thanks for joining us. Let's go and get started. So we start off with this giant box here, Mystery Box Monday from Glass City Cards. I already uh, kind of pre-opened it. At least I cut the sides of the box just to save a little bit of time because like I said we are on a time constraint today and let's see what we have so inside we have the glass city card boxes let's check them out there's also a note here so there's two boxes here and uh, I guess we'll put these like so possibly I think that's probably best the platinum edition of the glass city packs there's chase cards in here as well. Let's take a look at this note. It says, hello again, Jabs. A while back, I did some mystery packs that were featured on your channel. These packs sold out in 20 minutes with 100% positive feedback. They did so well, it only made sense to get back to work and put together a second series, which I'm calling Glass City Mystery Packs Platinum Edition. I spent the last 11 months stockpiling cards from breaks, card shows in my local LCS. I also have pulled tons of cards out of my PC and filled these packs with lots of great stuff. The second series has large chasers, including a 2011 Mike Trout SGC 9.5 and a 2017 Topps Tech Aaron Judge rookie autograph. Goes on to say, I've included a small snapshot of some notable chasers on the sheet, but also included a detailed checklist on the accompanying page. Additionally, there's lots of surprises, including iconic rookie cards from legendary players that are not listed on this checklist. The price is $199 each plus shipping. So... $200 per box. There's two packs that were randomly selected here, and we are going to check them out right now. So if you would like to try this, the eBay code, if you type this in, it'll come right up. It's 334-572-475-020. Every pack will contain 12 top-loaded cards, a PSA 10 slab of a top-tier player or rookie, an autograph, of a Hall of Famer, a short print, a game used memorabilia card, a vintage card, an oversized box loader, one and two packs of multiple slabs, or autographs. So here's the autograph little uh, word wall there. You can see the names there, some nice names. Soto, Judge, Acuna, Harper, Lindor, Tatis, etc. And here's all the chasers. Top two there, Judge and Mike Trout. $200 a box. Some more information here. Man, they have uh, some nice transparency here. They put everything that they've thrown in here. So the entire inventory of all of the graded cards is here. So you can see that there's no Kyle Lewis cards in here. Um, I guess the worst two are going to be those two Randy Rose Arenas. But a uh, whole lot of nice players on that checklist. There's a whole lot of short prints right there. And a lot of autographs as well. Look at all the autos. They list all the autographs. Game used relics that are possible. And the vintage cards there as well. Wow. Reggie Jackson rookie is one of them on that list. Lots of good rookies. George Brett, Ozzie Smith, Kyle Ripken, Ryan. I'm excited for this. And they also include a picture of a lot of the cards. Look at all those Shoei Tawnies that they dropped in. So, again, if you'd like to check them out, there's the Mike Trout SGC 9.5. If you'd like to check them out, again, that eBay number, type that in. I'll show it to you at the end of this uh, particular round, but $200 per box. Also, a nice thing about this is they sell them on eBay, so you can look at all their feedback and see what people have said about their previous line of Glass City Packs. All right, so here we go, folks. Our box topper is a Ronald Acuna Jr., from 2000 and I think that's a 2000 and I want to say 20, um, 2019 Ronald Acuna Jr. box topper off by a year. All right, let's see what we've got. Platinum edition, a $200 mystery pack. I can feel the slab in there. We'll go ahead and get this open up and see what we can find. The slab has its own little slab pack, nice. So I, I do really like your packaging here. It's very, very uh, professional looking. Let's see what we've got in our 12 top loaded cards. Bo Bichette is on the top. 
That is his rookie card, of course. We've got an Alex Bregman, first Bowman Chrome. Max Fried rookie card. That is a great card. We've got a Dylan Carlson rookie, and that, folks, is a short print of Dylan Carlson. So a nice one right there. Short print of Carlson. Wander Franco rookie card. Upside down, we've got a Bryce Harper. This is going to be a numbered gold cup out of 2013. Shohei Otani's in there as well. His rookie card. Awesome card right there. O'Neill Cruz. I don't have this one. O'Neill Cruz. Is that a 1953 Topps Living card? Awesome card right there. Bo Jackson rookie card from 86. Topps traded. We've got a J-Rod. Julio Rodriguez. I have not seen this card yet either. It is, uh, I guess, it is from the Paul Jenkins line. Game within a game. Paul Jenis, I guess. Never seen that one before. That's pretty cool. We've got the Tatis rookie card and a Corbin Burns rookie is the last one from Archives from 2019. So definitely some nice cards in there. And uh, we still have the hit pack here as well. There will be one or two slabs in here. It looks like we've got two of them. Let's see who they're going to be. All right, so we'll go like that. Kind of try to hide it just a little bit and take a look at our hits first. We start things off with Jose Ramirez from the Guardians. And there's a Vladdy rookie on the back as well. It's going to be a Vladdy short print. So there is the game used bat of Jose Ramirez. A Bob Feller 1951 Bowman card. All right. That is a pretty freaking awesome uh, vintage card right there. Walker Bueller autograph. Awesome card. Walker Bueller rookie autograph and a Vlad Jr. short print. Gold Cup short print. That is awesome. So, man, Bob Feller, I don't know what to say. That's pretty stoked. I think that's my favorite card so far. I'll go ahead and put those behind me there. And uh, now we still have the hits. We got two slabs. First, Mike Trout in a PSA 9 from 2020 Allen & Ginter Chrome. That's a nice one. And the second one, it's going to be a Christian Yelich super short print. And that is is a PSA 10. I don't even think I've seen that card before. So definitely some nice stuff in there. And we have a second box here as well. Platinum edition. Second box. So $400 worth of Platinum City. Or Glass City Platinum Edition. We've got a Bobichette box topper from Heritage from this past year. And let's see what we've got coming up. So I can feel the slab right there. I don't want to cut into that. There's our slab pack. Feels like just one slab in that one. Let's check out the base pack. We've got a Raphael Devers rookie card from 2018 Top Series 1 on the top. That's a great card. There's Trey Turner rookie card as well. Hey, both of these guys could potentially end up being Hall of Famers if they continue their career along the trajectory that it's going. Wander Franco rookie card from Throwback Thursday. A Topps Online exclusive. we got a Luis Robert rookie. Yohan Moncada rookie card, Kyle Lewis rookie. There's Vladdy, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. rookie card. Awesome card right there. George Brett's upside down. It's a hot box, numbered out of 25. Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card. Awesome card right there. We've got a Kyle Tucker rookie, Corey Seager, and the final card, it's going to be a Francisco Lindor rookie card from 2015 Topps Heritage. Cool stuff right there for sure. Let's check the hit pack. And see what we I think I might need to employ the scissors. For, uh, you know what? Why don't I just use these little tabs? All right, let's try not to reveal the slab too soon. All righty, so we've got Jordan Alvarez, game used jersey. We've got a super short print of Cal Ripken Jr. That's an awesome card. The super short prints usually go for $50 to $100 a piece, depending on who it is. That's another card. I've never seen that one before. Awesome card right there. We've got a Tim Anderson out of 300 and a Ryan Sandberg rookie card, 1983 tops. So some nice ones in there. And the last card is going to be a Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup PSA 10 action variation card. So it's another cool card. I haven't seen this one either. These are kind of tough to find. You can see it says action variation. So a Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup. If you'd like to try one of these for yourself, again, folks, it did sell out really quickly last time. We featured them on the channel in 20 minutes. Um, this time, this second series, the code, if you want to check it out on eBay, read through the, the feedback, check out the listing. It's 334-572-475020. You can check them out there. That'll come up, and you can go ahead and uh, 
maybe purchase one for yourself or at least do a little more extra research. So thank you very much, Glass City. Awesome stuff right there. So from Glass City, we now go to River City. It's called the Awesome Box. So let's check this out. Go ahead and cover up the address there and see what we've got. By the way, if you have a product that you're selling on eBay or Facebook or Instagram or in your card store or whatever, and you'd like us to check it out, if you want to send it to us, you can send it to me at the Jabs Family at Mystery Box Monday, attention Mystery Box Monday, P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity PA 15676. And uh, I will feature it on an upcoming edition. Now, we do have, like I said, a dozen boxes. I don't think we're going to get through all of them today. So we'll do some today and we'll do some next week. There's some weeks where I might only have like two boxes to go through. So it all kind of evens out. Other weeks I might have, uh, might have a really busy week like this one. There's a lot of stuff in here. There's packs. There's a hobby jumbo pack in there. That's pretty awesome. So let's read this note. There's a whole bunch of packs in here. We'll show you all the packs that you get. And we'll talk a little bit about this product. It says, hello, Jabs family. Thank you for taking time to review our new product called the Awesome Box. My name's Eli and I'm 16. My dad and I started this box to share the fun and excitement we have together opening packs. The box is a mixer box that could either be a single, one of two, double, one of four, triple, one of eight, Home run one of 10 or grand slam one of 40. It says all boxes include at least one hit with the hits getting better from a single box to a grand slam box. All right. The single has a minimum of eight packs and two vintage packs. The double has eight to nine hobby packs with two vintage. Triple gets nine with a jumbo and hobby pack. Home run boxing gets 10 hobby packs with at least one pack with a guaranteed hit. Five vintage packs and a jumbo hobby pack. The grand slam box will have between 12 to 15 with guaranteed hit packs, five inch packs, a high end pack like Tosh Museum, mini box, or similar. All of the boxes will have extra packs from retail to hobby, and special rookies are numbered. It says, We have sent you a common triple box. We got the triple box right here. The cost is $70, and the eBay, if you'd like to check it out, is 374 205 841 and 579. It says, Thank you very much, and have a good day from Eli. So, Eli, thank you very much. And here it tells us what you get. So, when you open your box, it'll say, Single, double, triple, home run, or grand slam. Obviously, you want to get the uh, the best hit possible. Triple box is our first one up. So, we have, looks like all hobby packs in here, which is nice. There's some vintage packs here as well. We will go ahead and put these. I will open up one of them. The other one, I've been saving packs. I've been giving a lot of packs away to the kiddos in class. We'll put these aside in that stack. And we have an 89... Bowman pack here. Looking for Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. There's Sean Dunstan on the back. Let's see if we can find it. Terry Kennedy and Dave Winfield, who's a Hall of Famer. Ron Darling. We got Rick Dempsey and Fred Tolliver. Sean Dunstan. There's the Jackie Robinson reprint. Ellis Burks, Paul O'Neill, Mike Henneman, Bobby Thigpen, Tim Leary, and Deion James. So unfortunately, Dave Winfield, best player in there. He's a Hall of Famer, at least. Let's check out these hobby packs. Hey, maybe we'll get an autograph, and I think that we will have at least one autograph in this particular stack because there is going to be a Prism Draft Pick pack in here, and those, hobby-wise, they have one autograph per box. Let's rip some packs now and see what we can find before moving on to the next product. $70 for a box of these. There's a Tim Anderson and Anthony Rizzo. This should have an autograph. It'd be nice to get in, like a Henry Davis or somebody like that. Benny Bombs. These are all prospects. Ty Madden, who is a first round pick. That's numbered out of 15. It's at the end of the first round. We got Ricky Tiedemann, who had a really good season this year in the minors. And Anthony Solomato is going to be the autograph. So Anthony Solomato, our Prism Draft Pick autograph. One auto per pack. We got a West Cath Fireworks card in there as well. Let's check out the Bowman and see if we can get the L.E. De La Cruz. Another guy that had an absolutely fantastic season this past year in the minors. We got Marcelo Meyer. Very good prospect. Unfortunately, did not find an autograph. James Wood, also a nice prospect in there. Let's check out the other hobby packs. We have Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. We've got Optic. We've got Fire from 2017. An Aaron Judge possible rookie card in there in Series 2. We'll start with this one. Looks like we may have a mini diamond card of Monty Irvin. So that's pretty cool. Monty Irvin. 
one of those black and white mini diamonds from the Platinum Anniversary Light box. Let's check out our optic and see what we've got. Been a little while since we've opened optic. We have a hit here, Zach McKinstry. Zach McKinstry, Purple Auto. So doing pretty well so far. Two autographs from the awesome box. That is numbered out of 150, so we'll take that one. Let's check out our Series 2 pack and see what we can find in this bad boy. There's Taylor Widener on the back. And uh, nothing too crazy yet. Let's see if there's an auto in here. There's a Freddie Freeman Home Run Challenge insert card. Unfortunately, that card is now expired. I did do the Home Run Challenge this past year at the end of the season. And I'm looking forward to see if I won anything. I haven't gone back and double-checked. 2017 Tops Fire up now. Looking for Aaron Judge's rookie card. Say Dexter Fowler, Will Myers, Brian Dozier, and Travis Jankowski. Golden Cards insert card, which is kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen that one before. Next, we've got a Gypsy Queen pack in our next little team bag here. All hobby packs. All I have to do is find the scene. There it is. We got Gypsy Queen. We've got Hometown Heroes. I don't think I've opened this before. This is a 2013 pack of Hometown Heroes. Let's see. I, I don't know if this is a baseball. Well, I guess it is a baseball-only pack. I have seen these cards before. I just have never opened a pack of them. Johnny Damon. We'll see if uh, there's Jerkson Profile rookie card. Let's see if we can get a hit in here. Mike Schmidt. There's something going on in the middle. Flipped upside down. And uh, we have a Leon Durham rivalry card. Jack Morris. That one's going to have a gold foil Michigan stamp on it. I don't know if there's much value to that. Jim Rice. City Hall card, Willie McGee, Bryce Harper, that's a good one, Bryce Harper, early card, second year card there, and Albert Pujols as well from the Hometown Heroes, so interesting, I'd never seen those before. We still also have a hobby pack to come as well, Gypsy Queen, there's a Jared Kelnick, Romy Gonzalez, Matt Manning, we've got a Reed Detmers Chrome card, take that one, not too shabby. Let's move on to those hobby packs next. I guess we'll do the hobby jumbo. And then there's some extras as well. Again, this is the triple box, which is one in eight are your odds of getting a box with these exact packs or at least similar packs. One and two will get uh, a single box. We'll have less packs in them. All right, home run challenge of Mookie Betts, Jose Urquidy. And unfortunately... Let's see if we can at least hit an O'Neill Cruz in here or Spencer Strider. We did not. So, you know, nice to go through some cards and see if we can get anything going. But nothing really in there. Here's Extras Absolute Baseball from 2022 featuring Albert Pujols on the front in his final season. His career is now over as the uh, Cardinals were eliminated. By the Phillies, Trey Mancini, Matt Olson, we got Carl Yastrzemski right there, Christian Yelich, Aloy Jimenez, Ozzy Albies, and we've got an Aaron Judge. So, 62 home runs for Judge this year. I'll be really interested to see what happens with his contract. We'll see if he walks as a free agent or signs an extension with the Yankees. All right, this next one is an, an extra edition pack. It's an old one. It's a 2007. And uh, Rebecca Lobo, what is that? There are some non-baseball non players in here. I don't know who any of those uh, non-baseball players are, but kind of interesting, something different. Hey, where'd this come from? Was this in there too? <laughs> this just kind of came out of nowhere. A silver pack from Series 2. Um, nice mojos there, but no auto. We have some bonuses here as well. A Keston Hira. So the awesome box with a ton of packs. Again, $70 for the box. It's less than a hobby box if you'd like to try one. That one's out of 50 Keston Hira, Relic Auto, cool card right there. We've got Willie Stargell, there's Aaron Judge. We've got Dave Parker, McCutcheon, Pink, Hunter Dozier, Vladdy, JT Romuto, and Key Brian Hayes. So a whole bunch of stuff right there. Then the awesome box. Again, if you want to check them out, the eBay number is right there. 374-205-841-579. We'll bring it up, $69 for that. And thank you very much for submitting that. Next. <laughs> this one says packs for the classroom pretty cool thing right here i've been giving away a lot of packs uh in my classroom and uh usually i used to do this all the time nobody would ever choose the packs they would always choose for their prize like a free homework pass or something like that 
But now, baseball cards are, at least people are, or my students are trying to, you know, open them up and see if they can find anything. And then they go and give them to their, their brothers or their dad or whatever, or maybe they keep them for themselves. But the packs have been pretty popular. And uh, I mentioned that on the live stream that I've been giving away a lot of packs. And Jack, Jack Holland must have heard it because he just donated, it looks like, a box of packs for the classroom. So the kids will definitely like this one. And oh boy, they are going to like this. We have a whole bunch of 2022 Bowman packs in here for the classroom. So a really, really cool donation right there. That's awesome, Jack. Thank you so much for that. 2022 Bowman. So the kiddos will be going after. They're probably going to ask me, uh, what's the best card I can pull? Get to teach them a little bit about cards. Say, hey, go after that Ellie De La Cruz, Jackson Churio, Khalil Watson, etc. And then they always, and if they do get a nice card, they see my eyes light up. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty good. And then they go, like, how much is that worth? We look up on eBay and they get super pumped when they do find a good one. So Jack, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate that. We'll take that into the classroom. They're going to love that. We got mystery packs coming up next. It says series one. This next one is from Wes D. Wes D, thank you very much. Again, if you have a product that you'd like us to check out, Jabs Family Mystery Box Monday, P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity PA 15676. And we'll get it opened up on a future episode. Let's see what we've got here. This is called, looks like it says the Big Baller Pack or something like that. If I can get this, there's a lot of tape on here to make sure that this arrived safe and sound. All right, big baller mystery pack. There's a note in here as well. Let's check it out. And there's a thank you pack as well, so thanks for sending that over. It says, Dear Jabs, I'd like to start off by saying that I have loved watching your channel. You've inspired me and so many others to enjoy the hobby. I have decided to make my own mystery packs called the Big Baller Packs. I'm a 16-year-old high school student with a passion for collecting. I would appreciate all of your honest feedback to help me with these mystery packs. Each Big Baller Mystery Packs will include five rookies, two hits. One's going to be an autograph, at least. One gold star set of an MLB team. A Baller Pack, which contains 10 cards. Top rookies, autos, relics, inserts, and parallels, and 35-plus card, uh, cards in there. The price is 45 bucks plus shipping. There's 30 packs made up. There's also some chasers. So Bobby Witt Jr., 1990 Bowman Design, PSA 9. We've got a Spencer Torkelson short print. We've got an O'Neill Cruz short print. And we've got a Juan Soto rookie card from Topps Heritage. If you'd like to grab one of these, the code is 354-303-717134. So let's check it out. The Big Baller Mystery Pack. It is a $45 pack plus shipping. I already cut through that inadvertently when I was opening the package. So that's good, I guess. Let's see what we've got. A Big Baller Mystery Pack. It looks like... You had something going on back there, and you changed maybe the design. It looks like it says Series 5, and there's an MLB logo. I, I, I guess um, if you asked for my advice, I would say maybe go with uh, a nice design there so it looks super professional. All right, so this I like this. I like how I have them labeled. Looks like we have a gold star set of the Blue Jays, so that's pretty cool. Each box gets a gold star team set. We got the Blue Jays in there, so that'll have Vladdy in there, Bo Bichette, George Springer. You can see the entire set of Blue Jays. So if you have any Blue Jays fans out there, Alejandro Kirk's in there. There's Alec Manoa, Future Star. There's Bichette, and there's the Vladdy. The Gold Star Parallels, if you're unfamiliar with how you get those cards, you can get them if you're lucky enough to buy a set at Walmart. And uh, one in three of those sets, the factory sets, can be Gold Star sets. Let's check it out. We'll start with the rookie pack now. $45 for this box. We have Spencer Strider. That's a good one. Jaron Duran. Cedric Mullins rookie card. There's Randy Rose Arena. Aaron Sabato. Shane McClanahan. Ozzy Albies. Another nice rookie card. Lars Newtbar. Dylan Cease. Going to get some Cy Young votes. Chrome rookie. Walker Bueller rookie. Jazz Chisholm. Tony Gonson will get some Cy Young votes as also. He may have ended up winning the Cy Young if not for his injury. There's a Ryan Mountcastle. Francisco Lindor. That's a great card right there. 2015 Tops Update. And Seth Beer is the last one in that pack. So some good stuff in there. Thank you very much. Let's check out this baller pack. And see what we've got in this one. Randy Rose Arena. Brooks Robinson. We've got a numbered out of 99. That is a green. 
Ruggi Odor, Wander Franco rookie card, call the game. That's now expired, unfortunately, but still a cool card. Josiah Gray, dual relic. Jock Peterson out of 499, Icy Green. Pete Alonso, there's a Shohei Otani rookie card in there. Very nice. From 2018 Tops, Game Changers insert set. Kyle Tucker, foil board. And O'Neill Cruz, rookie card is the last one. So definitely some nice rookies in there. The hits are going to probably put this, uh, you know, be the, the determining factor if this is worth $45 or not. Jesus Sanchez and Joe Ryan are the hits in there. Joe Ryan, rookie card, and Jesus Sanchez. I would say it's probably, uh, what do you think, folks? Probably at least uh, right around $45. It's not, uh, not going to give you like $90 in value, but you're, it looks like we're going to get our money back. I'd say thanks to that Showtime uh, in there. Shoei Otani was the determining factor. O'Neill Cruz loved his rookie card, so thank you very much for that. Nick Gonzalez, first refractor as well, and Henry Davis. So I love rookies, and those Pirates are amongst my favorites. So thank you very much for that. Again, check them out if you'd like to grab one of those. One, or sorry, 354-303-717-134. It should bring it right on up, and you can check it out. All right, we still have plenty of boxes left. Uh, like I said, we probably won't get through everything today. Let's try this little mini box. This is from Brayland Wooten. It says Misfy Box Monday on it. So, from Brayland, little mini 100 count box right here. Give me a second to go and get this opened up, and uh, we'll see what we can find in this. I feel like I'm doing a Rubik's Cube or something, which I'm terrible at. I will find the opening somewhere in here. Why is this so hard for me to open up? Oh, there's some tape on the bottom here. All right, I think I now have it. Yep, there we go. All right, so inside, there is a little note. It says, Dear Jabs, thanks for all you do for the hobby. I've been collecting since I was a little kid. I do a little selling on eBay, but most of my sales are at the local flea market. I have a mystery box that does well there. It's a small one. And mostly for getting kids into the hobby. Now I've decided to go bigger and put it on eBay. I figured I'd send you one and maybe get your opinion. I've always believed you should get more than what you pay when it comes to grab bags. Otherwise, just buy the singles you want. Exactly. That's that's perfect. So if somebody charges $50 for a grab bag and they give you $50 in value, it's not really a good deal. And probably that whoever buys it is not going to buy another one. Because uh, a lot of those cards, probably cards they don't even want. So, but if they give you $75 to $100 in value, you're going to be like, yeah. You know what? That was probably a good deal. So he's made this up. It's called the No Common Grab Bag because it has no commons. It's 100 total cards, 40 Hall of Famers, 40 current stars, and 20 rookies. There's no chase cards and no mega hits, just a bunch of good cards. Says I figure these will be perfect for giving uh, someone a start in the hobby or someone's been collecting for years or just to treat yourself. They're $50 a piece, mainly, so no one's going to buy them until you open one. Then you can tell me a good price for eBay. I'm thinking anyway for 25 up. So he's kind of priced them high right now just to have like a little, like have a little holder spot there, have it placed on eBay. It's 234-712-861-141. There's 25 boxes, 26 including this one. It says, I hope you enjoy them. However, if you believe no one else would like these because there's no chase or not enough good cards, feel free to tell me that too. Have a wonderful day, and thanks for doing what you do for the community from Braylon. So let's check it out. 100 cards in here. Go ahead and... Yeah, it is jam-packed. 40 Hall of Famers, 40 current stars, and 20 rookies. So if the rookies are going to be kind of no names, that'll be a determining factor. This is kind of like a large um, pharmacy box. Let's see what we've got in here. All right, so we'll start things off with our Hall of Famers. It's Jim Tomey and Larry Walker, Phil Necro, 82 tops, Tim Raines, Vladimir Guerrero. We've got Anthony Rizzo. So the stars are going to be mixed in as well. There's a Freddie Freeman, 2016 Bowman Chrome. Randy Rosarena, the rookies mixed in. Bobby Dalbeck, Tristan McKenzie. That's a nice one. He's His stock is rising. Joe Adele, Luis Garcia, Tarek Skubal, Luis Robert, New Age Performers, Jordan Alvarez Pink, Hugh Darvish. Babe Ruth, Mike Mussina. We got a Pedro Martinez right there. Robin Yount, Chipper Jones. Nolan Ryan, Mickey Mantle. Albert Pujols and Ozzy Albies. So we're seeing most of the cards here being from the past couple years, at least in that first stack. 
Here's one. I, I like this. The uh, I love older stuff. So there's an 83 OPG Raleigh Fingers. That's a nice one. Paul Molitor, Juan Soto. Tatis and Betts, Showtime, Shohei Otani, Joey Bart, Casey Mize, Joe Adele rookie card, Jose Garcia, and we got a Jonathan India in there as well. So like you said, there's no big chasers, but a lot of nice names. You saw Shohei Otani. There's Raleigh Fingers 81 tops and Willie Wilson 81. Not a Hall of Famer, but still a cool card. Tom Seaver, 1985 Fleer. There's a Tim Raines, 82 Fleer, second year card on the Reigns. Ken Griffey Jr. So I'm glad there's some older stuff mixed in because the Hall of Famers, if all the Hall of Famers were like the newer cards from like archives or whatever, it wouldn't be as cool. Definitely love the older ones. There's Jim Rice, 87. Vladimir Guerrero, and we're not done yet. We still have another stack here. We've got Ricky Henderson, Wade Boggs, another Ricky, Harold Baines, Yvonne Rodriguez. There's a Kyle Ripken, 89 Fleer, Pete Rose, 87. Some stars from Heritage, Mariano Rivera, Freddie Freeman. Rookies and stars of Andrew Vaughn. Blaze Jordan, there's Torkelson and Benny Bombs. Mike Trout, Braxton Garrett. We've got another Mike, couple Mike Trouts there. Glaber Torres, Luis Robert, that is going to be an orange. Buster Posey, Max Freed, and Pete Alonzo. So he says, what should I sell these for? 100 cards there. I would say... I think that uh, $29.99, if I was just going to throw a price out there or a suggestion, I'd probably say $29.99 and then, you know, do what you want to do with the shipping. Uh, I feel like 100 cards, you that box, you might be able to get that shipped for, I see that it cost you $7.25. I don't know. I, you, did you send a priority? I can't tell or not. I was going to say, I feel like you may be able to get that shipped for... Uh, first class, which would still probably be like five, six bucks. So I think 20, maybe 29.99 plus five or six shipping would be a fair price. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And uh, thank you very much, Braylon, for sending that over. Again, the eBay code is right there, 234-712-816, or 861141. You can pause that and read through that. All right, we've got probably time for just one more, we've got a bunch of these left. We'll save the rest of these for next week. We'll do this one last. So these other ones, my apologies, but we'll get to these next Mystery Box Monday. We'll put you, uh, we'll reserve a spot for you and put you guys in there first, but we're already over 30 minutes. And I usually like to make my videos about 20 minutes on average. Just in case, I know some of you might watch these on your work breaks or whatever, you may not have like an hour to watch all the videos. So let's check this one out. This is our last one of this Mystery Box Monday. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Looks like we have some team bags in here. And uh, there is a note in here as well. This comes to us from Matthew Esposito. So Matthew has a note included. And it says, The Cell Sheet. In these packs, you'll receive 51 rookies, prospects, first-year cards, all rookies, uh, cup cards, future stars, minor league cards, 49 Hall of Famers. So you get 100 cards total, and they are 10 bucks. And in his opinion, they're one of the best repacks out there. There's 36 of them were made, and 34 are still available. It says, your pack was completely chosen random. Keep it donated, auction, do whatever you want. I appreciate you showcasing my product. This will be the second time you featured me on Mystery Box Monday, and it is a true honor. Packs were put together at random. Some are better than others. Condition of the cards will vary. Cards range from 1980 to present. These are cards that I've collected throughout my life. I've successfully sold over 500 of these with zero complaints and 100% feedback. So if you don't want to grab one of these, the number is 224-977-214-310. Type that in on eBay in the search bar. It'll bring it right on up. 100 cards for just 10 bucks. That seems like a really good deal. Now, unless they're all commons from like the late 80s, that wouldn't be good, but already looking at the top, we see, looks like some <laughs> maybe a Ted Simmons 1976 leaders card, which would be pretty cool. Let's see what we have here. And uh, these could potentially sell, if you got some nice cards in here for 10 bucks, these would probably potentially sell out pretty quickly. So let's see what we've got in here. Got some Hall of Famers in here and some rookies as well. Let's, I, Oh, that's a thank you pack. All right, so this is what you would get, these three. But thank you for the thank you pack. I definitely love the older cards from the 60s, 70s, and 50s, of course. I love Hall of Famers, so I saw that Ted Simmons in there, and that automatically 
made me happy. So thank you very much for including that. Thank you, Pack. Let's check out what you get for 10 bucks. these three packs. Getting the Hall of Famer Roberto Alomar and some 91 scorecards. Now, there are some commons in there, as we saw with Bobby Witt. But there's uh, primarily some decent cards in there in terms of Hall of Famers. Got some rookie cards as well with Jordan Yamamoto and Albert Alzole. There's James Karen Jack, which is a nice one. So he's put in some rookies. Nico Horner, Logan Allen, Sitsugo, and Justin Hudson. Nothing crazy in terms of the names on those rookies, but that was just the first pack. Next up, we've got a Ted Williams. That's a Topps card uh, from 19, uh, 2007. Cool card right there. Some Ted Will Wow, Ted Williams pack. How about that? It's a Ted Williams hot pack right there. That's kind of cool. Look at all these Ted Williams cards. A whole bunch of Ted Williams. So if you love the Splendid Splinter, this pack would have been right up your alley. Cool stuff right there. And Mickey Mantle, there we go. Mantle as well. Some of the inserts. Man, these are actually these, these inserts from 1990s. What was it, six or so? 1996 tops. These are quite valuable. Um, relatively speaking, I mean, pretty cool stuff right there. They reprinted one of each of his cards. 57 and 68 tops and 63 tops. Those are awesome. I'm going to take those and put those aside. Those three are definitely worth more than $10. So awesome stuff right there. In that pack, definitely like that one. And we also have one final pack to round out the 100 cards. And one of the cards at the end of this stack is going to be top loaded. Aaron Savali rookie card at the forefront. Bruce Dar Gratterall. Let's see, there's a Freddie Sanchez. Hideki Okajima, a few of his cards. Todd Green. Some Gold Cup cards. Pete Cavilla, Gold Cup. Ramon Lariana, Luis Orias. Uh, don't know who that is. I can't even read the name. Mike Greenwell, Gold Cup card, Phil Plantier, and the Frank Thomas Middle Finger card, 1991 Upper Deck, where he is flicking off the camera there, saying, hey, don't take my picture. Probably just uh, doing that to a teammate, and the cameraman inadvertently took a picture at the wrong moment and didn't catch it. So we got a thank you pack here to wrap this up. There's the Ted Simmons and Bill Matlock batting leader card from 76, and we've got some old Pirates, it looks like, from 1980 Tops in here. 1982 tops, got 76, 81 Don Russ Buckos, got some 82 Pirates as well, 81 tops, Rick Roden is in there, Jim Bibby and the Doug Drebick, 87, like that one, 87 tops traded, really like that Ted Simmons, so thank you very much for the thank you pack, and again, $10 for all those. Definitely the highlights of that pack were those Mickey Mantle insert cards from 96 Tops. So there you have it, folks. The other boxes that we have, we'll get to those next week. It's all We're almost 40 minutes in here. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your Monday. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back tomorrow with a card store video going to a tour of 814 Card World, brand new card store that just opened up in Johnstown, Pennsylvania. So if uh, you're anywhere near that area and near the middle of Pennsylvania, got to check it out. We'll have that video for you tomorrow. We'll show you what we picked up. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing Wednesday yet. I'm hoping for my top Hobby Light Boxes. If I don't have them, then I'll do my, probably got a Walmart haul from last weekend. Maybe we'll open up some of those boxes. So folks, have a great rest of your Monday, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.